Okay, cool. Thanks, Tom. Old Town Arvada just announcing that the world's only archtop guitar festival and the famous blue guitar exhibit formerly on display at the Smithsonian in Washington will now be coming to Colorado. That's cool. Dan Drew live at the Old Town Pickin' Parlor with a sneak peek. First question, Dan. So what's an archtop? It's, is this a specific type of guitar? It is that I learned because I am not a musician, although I do look a lot like uh, this guy right here. I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> hey, I mean, that's, uh, that's, uh, I don't think so. that's Johnny Cash. No, that's <laughs> spitting image. Spitting image. <laughs> spitting image of Johnny Cash. Well, at least I got the hat. But uh, no, okay, so Peter's right there, Peter Henriksen. And uh, an arch top guitar, you have one right in your hands. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, explain what an arch top guitar is. An arch top guitar is, uh, has an arch top. Uh -huh. uh, they were designed this way. Way to be louder and project more off the stage. So it's an old design. It is an old design, and uh, there are a lot of contemporary builders that have uh, kept up the tradition. There are some modern takes on it, and some traditionalists, and uh, they're very difficult to make. Requires and, a master builder. And I to see make those one. holes in the side. You got, I mean, is that a characteristic of a an arch top? Correct. Most art. Tops traditionally have these. They're called F holes. Yeah, F holes. Mm -hmm. uh, probably to help to, like, to help the acoustics. Round holes. To help to help the acoustics, right? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Now, uh, so a couple of years ago, you're having a couple of beers, and I don't want to reveal anything. Maybe I do. <laughs> and and then you said, hey, I got an idea, and let's just have an art shop festival. And you put it out on Facebook, and what was the response? The response was from the art shop builders. They were very grateful to have the opportunity to just focus on arch top guitars. Look, it's Ken Simon, but it's the yeah, Ken it Simon. The man himself. He knows his way up and down a fret. Yeah. He only owns 30 or 40 arch tops. <laughs> If I could just listen to that all day. All right, so there's going to be a festival uh, coming is. up in September. Yep. And why are we talking about it now? Uh, because tickets are going to sell out for the workshop ticket. They're limited to uh, people who want to come and learn from all the masters that are going to be here all weekend. Uh, but you can come enjoy a, lo a whole lot of music for free. It's going to be all around Old Town Arvada. Uh, you can buy a ticket just to see the guitars. Uh, you can... Uh, hey, speaking of guitars, blue guitars. The blue guitar. What, what's up with the blue guitar uh, legend? <laughs> There's right? a, is a legend? this is not one of them, <laughs> no. but this looks this is more of a chartreuse. I don't even know what that means. Uh, uh, back in the nineties the there was a uh, <laughs> 22 guitars that were commissioned to be built and uh, they were all they all had to be painted this color blue from the guy that commissioned them and so uh, they were in the Smithsonian for a while and have now been purchased into privately and they're gonna come on tour for the first time so the blue guitars will be here and uh, we're having a Colorado premiere of a film, The Chisels Are Calling, which is about uh, the master builder John Monteleone. The Chisels Are Calling! <laughs> That's a heck of a title. Uh, all right, so, uh, but tickets are going to, there's a certain amount of tickets that we, are like your VIP tickets. Yeah, we have a limited number of tickets, and that's to make sure that everybody who buys them has access to the, the players who are going to be doing the clinics and workshops. And uh, those are limited to 200 tickets, um, but then there's also um, unlimited tickets to see the guitars themselves, and then, of course, a lot of the music in Old Town is all free. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a sequel to The Chisels Are Coming. Uh, the Chisels Are Here. And that's going to be the, the uh, kit. You know, like that one? It's the film about the film. <laughs> I love Kit because he put up with us all morning. Mm -hmm. Or we put up with him, I'm not sure, but we, <laughs> but we love him. And it, <laughs> I love Beatles. <laughs> all right, guys, going to toss back to you. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to go to the fast. Quinn and I are going. not the Beatles. Going. Hey, uh, there, are, can you are play, you Dan? Credit card? Uh, what's that, uh, Quake? Do you got, uh, can you play? Are you going to play something for us? It's important to, to look good than to play good. So uh, I'm going to look like Gene Autry. <laughs> You're holding uh, and me. I, I don't even look good, so I lost on that front, too. So thank you for depressing me. I need a drink. <laughs> cool guitar. All right, Dan, thanks. 922 now. <laughs>